Hey, this is Brad with 40 Tech. Today we're in a 2013 to 2015 style Ford Flex. Follow along as we install one of our Sync 2 to Sync 3 conversion kits. Let's get started. First, we'll start by removing the piece of trim up above the screen. We'll simply use a plastic dash removal tool or something similar to get under the edge and start releasing the clips that secure it in place. As you can see, there's just simply clips along the backside that hold it in. Next, we'll remove the two 7mm screws that are exposed at the top. Next, we'll open the center console and we'll release the back edge. Next, we'll need to release the two clips that are holding the front edge of this panel off so that we can pull it out backwards. Uh, one of the things we'll need to do is go ahead and turn the ignition on so we can shift the vehicle back into drive. And then we'll go ahead and get a tool in here to release these clips. Slide it back up off the shifter and set this down out of the way. Put it back in drive, turn the vehicle off. Now we can access the two 7mm screws down here that need to be removed. Although not required, it does make it easier to go ahead and uh, disconnect the two electrical connectors from this panel. There's a little tab here where my thumb is. We'll depress it and pull the connector out. Same with this one here. There's a tab right here. We'll set this aside. Next, we'll need to um, expose a 7mm screw behind this panel here. Um, we don't need to remove this panel completely. We just need to peel the top edge away to give us some space. Just get behind the front edge release the couple of clips that hold it in place and right there is where there's a seven millimeter screw here on the driver's side we'll do the same thing and right here is where the other seven millimeter screw is next we'll peel down this little piece of panel here underneath the steering column just enough to release it from this panel here. Next, we're gonna remove this entire panel all as one piece, including the sides. So just get your fingers in wherever you can. Try and remove the clips. As you can see, it comes out all as one piece. There are going to be several electrical harnesses on the back that are holding it in place that need to be removed. One is the control panel and one is the engine start stop button. As you can see, there's one right here with a little release tab on the bottom that you push up to pull the connector out. And the other one is the start stop button here. It also has a little tab that you push with your finger. We'll set that aside. Next, we'll remove the four seven millimeter screws securing the screen in place. On the back side, there'll be two connectors, the large 54 pin cam lock connector. You'll depress the release tab and then pull the gray connector 90 degrees to the right to release that. And then the USB cable, uh, there's a tab right where my thumb is. We'll depress that, wiggle the connector out. Now that we've removed the old Sync 2 screen, uh, we'll install the new Sync 3 assembly that came from 4D Tech. Uh, the one thing you'll need to do, and it was not shown, is you'll simply need to move the brackets over from the Sync 2 unit onto this one using the same screws and mounting locations. Uh, the other thing you'll need to do is install the uh, GPS antenna provided as part of the kit. You'll want to stick it inside the dash, uh, black side up, silver side down, as far forward as possible towards the glass with no metal over top of it. Um, you can usually do that depending on if there's a center speaker or not uh, anywhere in here. Uh, we've already done that. 
So next we'll simply plug everything in, the GPS antenna into the blue GPS antenna port, the USB into the USB, and the 54 pin into the 54 pin. Pushing it in so that the, the gray cam lock moves at least 45 degrees on its own. Then use it to draw it in the rest of the way and snap it in place. And then we will simply bolt it into the dash using the same four 7 millimeter screws we removed earlier. Now that we've installed the screen, we'll go ahead and put this trim panel back on. Remembering that there are two electrical connectors we need to reconnect, one being for the control panel and one being for the start stop switch. Once everything's lined up properly, it should snap into place. You should not have to force it. If you have to force it, something is not lined up properly. Now we'll go ahead and put the four seven millimeter screws back in the panel. Next we'll replace the seven millimeter screws that we had pulled out earlier on the sides. And then snap this lower panel back into place. And replace the upper trim panel. Now we can do the cup holder assembly. Remembering to plug in the two electrical connectors that we removed earlier. joins us tomorrow Friday mornings hopefully you're with us too slip this in, into place now you see how easy it is to install one of our sync 2 to sync 3 upgrade kits in the 2013 to 2015 style Ford Flex I'm Brad with 40 Tech Thanks for checking out our video.